See that drape is coming down? To me, it's trimming her waist and it's making it look um, in the best position. Again, not the best shot of baby, but I'm just going to show you how I would um, how I would contour mum's body in this image. So from here, I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to do a line down the arm, up to there, nice big circle, okay, because you are moving pixels. So you need to take a nice big wide berth, and then I'm going to just bring her arm into alignment. So all I'm doing is bringing it in. I'm not changing the shape of her shoulder. I'm not changing the length of her arm. I'm just giving it a little wee warp line in straight away. I accept it. And the only reason this hesitation is on is because of my tether. Normally it's instantaneous. I do not need to do anything else on her body. Like I don't feel like you know I need to do any more. I'm going to hit up under her chin. But to me, I think this drape, baby in her arms, nice long chin. But if I wanted to, I could do a couple more things. So let's have a look at my options. I could trim the waist in here, okay, if I wanted to waist, make her waist smaller, but I don't think I need to. I could bring this arm in here. So how do I bring the arm in when the baby's head's there? Here's a good one. I can go straight down and pretend the baby's head is not there. I can copy and paste it. I can then warp the arm to the position that I want, okay, and I'm going to flatten the baby's head. And then I can accept it, and then when I go to my erasing tool, I just warp the baby's head back in and she's back to the normal position and her arm is slimmer behind. Okay, so that way, like people would try and liquefy around the baby's head, um, but you don't need to. You can just copy, paste, warp, contour the shot and I can slim her arms both ways. Also, when you put space around somebody's body, they look slimmer. So I, this is a really great trick and it's something you will use one day and it's something that I really enjoy um, doing because it's kind of kind of cute is if you take this little bit here this triangle copy and paste it and make it larger so put in the aspect ratio so it stays there make this space bigger because the bigger I make this space the smaller I make her I mean I'll I do what I have to do in terms of lengthening and getting shape and then I can warp it from there or I can just erase back and get the shape that I want so it's around the boobs but interestingly enough when I turn that on and off the eye believes it because it's real, right? It's a real um, space through there and the eye just sees it as being real space. And the more I can achieve that, the better. Also, sometimes girls carry weight up and high in their shoulders or they're carrying weight because, or they're lifting their shoulders up. So you can bring the shoulders down, but then you shorten the elbow. So I don't recommend it. I'm in this position here. I'm going to go up to here. I'm going to make sure she's got no puppet lines there on her um, lips. I knock them down, knock that down, take it from my highlight up, I go up under the eyes, I go onto my cheeks. You should be doing a two minute edit of all of your images. Okay, it shouldn't be more than two minutes. It's so fast once you learn how to warp and clone and make bodies look good and do most of it in your posing. And then we take that up there because I'm just gonna clone up under her chin to give her a nice long chin and I'm gonna take you away from looking there. That's all it needs. I can't see, my screen's quite dark, so I can't see that clone line, but when I look up on the big screen, I can, so I'm going to address that just in case somebody sees it. Um, and I've got to make sure that I, hang on, I'm just going to open my history. Okay, there. So when you open, when you tether your computer and changes all your windows around and the, oh there it is okay so I couldn't find it for a minute so I'm just going to drop that into there I'm going to drop that into there okay and everybody comments on this whenever I do a show everybody says why are your actions in rainbow colors if you come up to this little line here these lines across touch that button and go button mode off a lot of people are working with the actions looking like this where you touch the action and press play well, if you go up to the right hand side and you click there and turn button mode on then they are buttons and you don't have to press play you just click the button and it works straight away now most people don't know about button mode i don't know why so it's always a question i get asked and if you go back into non-button mode you can set your actions and then choose the color that you want to choose when you name your actions so you can rainbow coordinate them like me and be cool You can be cool like me and just have rainbow buttons. I'm such a girl.